Hey guys, Aiden from London Grapple. Today we're going to look at um, some leg entries from the Z-Guard. If you want to check this out more, go and look at Craig Jones' stuff. So, today, what a Z-Guard is, is we've got a bottom controlling leg that's pulling and a top leg that's pushing. So we've got a pulling, pushing um, pressure on Will's hip and we can also lock our bottom toes on his calf. So what this does is it locks him in place and makes it very difficult for him to rise and pass our gun. From this position, if they go for the underhook, we allow them in. So we're framing here, we just rest and let them come in. Our top hand, framing hand, comes through and we get a strong overhook and grab our own abdomen. We control his wrist, foot on the hip, and we can start to come out for things like triangles, omoplatas and uh, armbars. A common reaction here is, if we don't hit it correctly, is heel posture. Our outside hand is going to come through and grab his knee and our outside knee is going to suck to the mat in this position called K-guard. From here, if Will's posturing, we'll connect our scoop grip and gable. We'll push behind his armpit. We've got a nice entry to backside 50-50 and a really good finish from there. On the far side again, we're still here framing, but we relax and let Will come in, making him think he can get a cross face. Our hands are already here and we just clamp on his shoulder. And we've got some really good attacks here. We've got choy bars, triangles, and also butterfly sweeps. Again, he's gonna posture. We hit our scoop grip. And for this one, we're just gonna connect our hands and drive our knee into his, um, his far side hip. And as we push him, he's not gonna accept the sweep. And we're gonna land in single X, another great attacking position to start working different leg entries whether they be outside or working inside. Same scenario again, he reaches, he postures, we hit the scoop grip and this time we scissor. So our bottom leg pulls towards us and our top leg goes high under his armpit and we scissor wheel over here and make his leg straighten. From this position, top leg comes inside, high on his hamstring, not low, high, catch a high lat grip and we just invert and cut behind him and land in a really good um, double control position in the saddle. The last one we're going to look at, I think Craig Jones hit this twice on Roberto Jimenez in their match. So Will's here, he postures, hit the scoop grip, and our knee drives into him, but we also push him back. So our knee drives here and pushes Will onto his butt. And the key here is we sit on him. If our weight's too much forward, Will's going to be able to sit up and extract his leg. If our weight's on him, he's pinned. We take our heel to his butt and our knee to our heel and then we can catch the secondary leg and look to finish the position from here. There's a few options to uh, finish the heel hook from the saddle and also the key is to attack the upper body to create lower body exposure. <laughs> <laughs> um,